Hello back again on the Top Recap channel. This time I will tell a movie's entitled Red. Let's get straight into the storyline. The story begins by showing a bald man. The man's name is Frank Moses. Frank is a retired CIA agent and has chosen to live alone for a long time. There, Frank was seen contacting a female employee of an insurance office. Apparently, the activity of contacting this female employee has often been done. The purpose of all this is to ask for the disbursement of his pension funds, which he has not received yet. However, all that turned out to have another purpose for Frank, so he could chat with the female employee. The woman's name was Sarah Ross. At night, when Frank woke up and wanted to go to the bathroom, an uninvited guest was already in his house. Because Frank is an experienced former CIA agent, he has realized that there are people in his house who will finish him. Then, Frank left his house. Apparently, Frank went to Sarah's house. Frank, who already knew that his calls with Sarah had been tapped by someone, immediately explained it to Sarah. There, Frank said that Sarah's life was currently being threatened because of her frequent calls with Frank. Then, Frank took Sarah to leave her house immediately by tying her hands and duct taping her mouth. Frank then took Sarah to an inn and kept her there. Wanna watch TV? After that, Frank went to see his best friend at a nursing home. This man is named Joe Mateson. <laughs> Frank told Joe that he had just been visited by people who would finish him last night and would probably also finish Joe. When he heard this, it seemed that Joe was relaxed and calm because he felt he was no longer alive. After contacting someone, Joe also got information that the people who were going to finish Frank yesterday were South African freedom fighters, and they had also killed a reporter from the New York Times named Stefani Chan. Back to Sarah, who was at the inn, she was seen trying to untie her rope. After that, Sarah immediately contacted the police to report the incident that had happened to her. Then, Sarah was approached by a policeman, and the policeman forced Sarah to come with him. Then suddenly, Frank came to her rescue. Well, it's just... I... But on the way, the car Frank was driving was suddenly hit by another car. There was a man named William Cooper in the car. It is known that William Cooper is one of the CIA agents assigned to finish off Frank. On the other hand, Joe was seen who had been approached by someone and pointed his gun. However, Joe dealt with it calmly. It's like that. Back to Frank, who was looking for information about the reporter who had been killed earlier. Then Frank and Sarah arrived at a place. The place is a settlement of Chinese people who are American citizens, or what is commonly called Chinatown. They enter a shop where they meet the owner, who is the mother of Stefani Chan, the murdered reporter. Stefani's mum gives them a piece of paper, which is a clue to the book number of the National Library. After getting the clue, they immediately rush to the library. They got information about the people who were targeted by the enemy. Our crash, Daniel McGinn is still alive. On the other hand, Cooper is seen at the CIA headquarters. Cooper, enthusiastic about finishing off Frank, is increasingly curious about who Frank really is. He went to the archive room to look for Frank's files. Frank Moses file. After reading Frank's file, it was discovered that Frank was the best agent of the CIA. Frank is also known to have eradicated drug dealers, eradicated terrorists, and even been able to overthrow the government of a country. Because of his achievements, Frank has many enemies, even though he is now retired, and people nickname him Red, or Retired Extremely Dangerous. D, retired Extremely Dangerous. Elsewhere, Frank and Sarah are seen going to a location that requires them to cross a long river by boat to get to a house on the riverbank. Arriving at the house by the river, they met a man named Marvin. It turned out that Marvin was Frank's comrade in arms in the past. Marvin invited Frank and Sarah to enter his underground residence. When you have the other place. After that, Frank gave a list of names written by Stefani Chan. Marvin then took a file from the mission in Guatemala in 1981. The people on Stefani Chan's list were also listed in the file during that mission. By now, almost all the names on the list had been eliminated, but one person was still alive, Gabriel Singer. I am getting the pig! Not long after that, they rushed to Gabriel Singer's place. While at an airport, Marvin felt that someone was following them. He immediately secured the person he felt was following them. Who do you work for? She's been following us. 
Then, Frank came to break up and asked Marvin to let her go because, judging from her appearance, the person was not an agent. Long story short, they finally met Gabriel Singer. Happy days. After they scraped up information, it was discovered that Gabriel was a pilot assigned to pick up someone in a small village in Guatemala. At that time, when they were talking, suddenly a helicopter came and shot at them all. After the incident, Frank went to a Russian Federation office to meet his old colleague Ivan. Frank's visit was to ask Ivan to help him with his plan to enter the CIA headquarters because Ivan was an expert in technical matters, making it easier for Frank to infiltrate the CIA headquarters. Not long after that, Frank and Sarah headed to the CIA headquarters. When they arrived at the CIA headquarters, it was seen that Frank had disguised himself as a general and Sarah disguised herself as a nuclear scientist. They then entered the archive room and met with an archive room guard named Henry, a good friend of Frank's. Frank asked for an archive about his mission in Guatemala. You know, there's been a whole new world around here since you left. Care yourself, Henry. You too, Mr. Moses. When Frank entered the room, it turned out that Cooper was already in the room, and a fierce fight was inevitable. Bad move, Grandpa. <laughs> After defeating Cooper, Frank immediately rushed to escape. However, it was not easy, because Cooper immediately ordered the troops to close all the exits. Frank made a mini-bomb as a diversion with makeshift materials he got in the storage room. When the firefighters arrived, it turned out that Frank had managed to escape inspection because he was disguised as a firefighter. Then, Frank headed outside, and there was already Marvin, who was waiting in a car. Joe was also in the car, and he turned out to be alive. Joe also told about the incident when he was about to be finished off yesterday. <laughs> then, they all agreed to go to someone named Victoria Winslow. Victoria is the one who will treat the gunshot wound that Frank is currently experiencing. Victoria will also participate in this mission after treating Frank's wound. They also discussed the Guatemala mission file that Frank had obtained from the CIA headquarters and found out that one person was still alive, namely, Alexander Daining. Daining is the CEO of Browning Office. They immediately made plans to go to Daining Place. They arrived at Daining's place without much time. Joe was seen posing as an important person, while Frank and Marvin posed as Joe's driver and bodyguard. From a distance, Victoria and Sarah watched them. Alexander Dunning. They're in. The scene returned to Joe. He was seen negotiating with Daining while Frank and Marvin had managed to finish off the bodyguards. After Daining regains consciousness, they pose a little threat to Daining. Home Depot. Stop it. Now you got something to say. Stop already! In the end, Daining says that the person who was picked up by Gabriel Singer from Guatemala is now the vice president. Not long after, the place was surrounded by armed forces. Victoria, who saw that the whole place was surrounded, immediately reported this to Frank. There, Joe volunteered to sacrifice himself so that his friends could leave. Not long after that, Frank and Marvin managed to get out. Now. When Frank, Marvin and Victoria tried to run away from the FBI troops pursuit, Ivan came to help them all. Because Sarah had been caught by the FBI, Frank contacted Cooper and said intimidating words to Cooper. One of Cooper's subordinates also tried to track Frank's location when making a phone call. Apparently, his current location is in Cooper's own house. Frank also began to threaten Cooper by saying that if anything happened to Sarah, he would not hesitate to kill Cooper's family. Please don't hurt my family. Frank also said that he would kill the vice president. On the other hand, Victoria, Ivan and Marvin managed to get into an event organized by the vice president. Cooper and his troops were also seen attending the event. Then, with the plan they had prepared, Ivan managed to create a scene for the event. Yeah! 
This made the vice president immediately evacuate to a safer place. Threat. Where exactly is the threat? Quickly, Marvin threw a smoke bomb, making it easier for him to escape from the police force. When the vice president and his bodyguards were outside the building, Marvin arrived with a bomb that he had attached to his body. After that, a backup car arrived to carry the vice president. As it turned out, the driver was Frank, and the vice president was finally captured. Then, Frank contacted Cooper and said that Cooper only had 15 minutes to take Sarah to the designated place, or Frank would finish off the vice president. Not long after that, Cooper came to the place specified by Frank. Not long after, Cooper's boss also came with Sarah. Alexander Daining also came with Cooper's superior there, making Frank wonder. Then, quickly, Daining shot the vice president. You ordered these killings, not me. Not me. Oh. As it turned out, the mastermind of all this was not the vice president, but Alexander Daining. Cooper was then ordered by Daining to handcuff Frank. Cooper immediately handcuffed him, but he also silently gave the handcuff key to Frank's hands, because he felt he had been used and lied to by his superiors, who turned out to be in conspiracy with Daining. Frank then walked towards Daining and threatened him. Immediately, Marvin, Ivan, and Victoria killed all of Daining's troops, and Frank managed to kill Daining instantly and save Sarah. and the movie is over. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment.